Hello, it's me, DigiDoubleT, here a little bit later. When I say a little bit later, I mean two hours later than what I planned to stream. But it's kind of what happens when you try your best to stick to a schedule, but you have life and work. Anyways, welcome back to Self Care Tuesday. It's still Tuesday, and I guess I'd like to run down what the plan is for today. Always gonna have, you know, our lovely, chill, lo-fi in the background, enjoying that. Gonna tackle another chapter of a book. This time we're switching back to Stop Overthinking, because I've been doing too much of that. <laughs> and I think I'll skip the face mask this week because my skin just feels soft and vibrant already. And I don't think I'll need it for this self-care. Definitely there will be snacks. There is something to drink. I got like water slash apple juice. <laughs> hey Sage Botat! You know, I feel a lot better than I did earlier. And we're working on it. Gonna wrap the night with like some chill beats and just relaxer. Also, I am very grateful that you followed. Thank you very much. It means a lot. And what else? What else would I have today? Oh yeah. One other thing for self-care is just to add in doing my therapy journal because I've been meaning to do that every now and then and I feel like I have something to talk about today. Oh, and if anybody wants to hear like my challenge story of like today, I guess I could mention like what has happened in a bit. What else? Was there anything else that I had anything planned? I think that's really it. Just kind of like a chill existence. Because first things first is tackling the therapy stuff. Because therapy is good. Kind of like, if you're not sure where to go in life, you have someone, some, well sometimes a therapist can be someone who's guiding, someone, sometimes somebody who is very much just there to help you process. Not necessarily force you to move on or anything, but like, it's if it, you feel like it's time to like grow as a person, you can use that as a thing. Therapy is useful in many different ways. I think next week, wait, actually, what is my schedule for like next week for work? Because I was thinking that maybe for next week for self care Tuesdays, I'd actually do like tarot card readings for people. So it'd kind of be fun. I don't mind doing that. <laughs> I won't charge because like that, that seems unfair, but like it'd be nice to be like, here's a little cheap reading. Have fun. <laughs> uh what was I doing? Ah, schedule sh checking. Trying to maintain that work life balance as well. Not easy. This is not easy. We where we work on it. We do our best. I know we gotta grow. Well, I like we have to grow. We all grow at like our own different pace. Some of us are trees, some of us are bamboo. And some bamboo that grows way too quickly. But like it's not like we're all different species. But we're all different beings in a sense that we are all human, sure. Or the majority of us are. And like we're our own person. We're our own little plant. And some of us are succulents. Some of us just take it rough. <laughs> like doesn't get watered, but still exists to thrive, you know? Ooh, okay, okay. Next week isn't so bad, so I can actually do my thing like early. Also, I should probably mention ahead of time that if I go through the book and I find something like insightful, I'll probably talk about it for a little bit. Alright. Today was 
May 30th. Yes. At least in my time zone. Also, Patat, weren't you taking a nap? <laughs> uh, let's see. Currently, when it comes to, like, land streaming, we are playing Redfall, which is... A game recently created by Bethesda that hasn't been doing too well because of how buggy it is and for how expensive it is, but it's still fun to me, which is like a shooter, open world shooter, uh, with like a skill tree and different characters. Um, on Thursdays we play Sunhaven, which if you have been in Loftia, with like sometimes when some of us play it, some of us in my like my group, we play uh, the game Sunhaven, which is like Stardew Valley meets D and D, which is just a simple has every Stardew mechanic pretty much of you have to farm, no exhaustion, which is a good thing, and you can pick like your class, your role, even your your race, and like there's magic, there's passive abilities, there's a little combat system, there's still the dating system, there's also plushies, there's also um, pets and whatnot, but it's just really lovely to farm and exist. And that's what I do with my like really close friend on Thursdays because we don't actually have much time to hang out nowadays and we do our best to make time. On, let's see, on Friday, it's kind of like, what do I feel like playing today, you know? Uh, it has been mostly consistently cassette beast, which is like Pokemon, Digimon, but like with a 90s theme of like cassette tapes. And that instead of like having monsters you summon, you can transform into like the monsters. Um, but when it comes to like my free time, sometimes I'll play like Team Fight Tactics, which is like League's version of 3D chess. And sometimes I will play League of Legends. Uh, I do have like a bunch of other games in the works for like sometime in the future whenever I really feel like it. Like, I really want to uh, play, uh, what was it called? Not Flaccid, not Flaccid Duck Simulator. It's called Placid Plastic Duck Simulator, which was like a really cheap game for like $2. And it's a game where you just like vibe to chill music and you collect plastic ducks. Like you collect rubber duckies in a pool and they're like all different variations. And like, I will get to it one day. And, but there's so many games and like, the ensemble I'm like I want to play these and I think I plan to find some time during like the whole like J June thing to like go back to dream daddy because you know it's kind of like it's pride month but also it's a fun game it's wholesome it's cute it's lovely you get to date dads who are either wholesome not wholesome or somewhere in the middle you know what else Minecraft is also a big one, you know. It's like a... Yes, dads. Not all the dads are good. Spoiler, but... I say it here. <laughs> and... My friend Chaos and I have played in the past... Like, I guess we could say like a month ago now at this point. 
I think. Because we switched over to Sunhaven, but we, we're playing Monster Prom, which is a game that is a multiplayer dating sim where it's a party game, but you date monsters and whatnot, and you get to select your monster, and you're trying to basically get yourself a date. And if, you're, if your friends aren't the nicest or they're competitive, they probably want to make sure you don't get a date because they can't mess with it. And I think it's better with more people because it can be up to like four players. And there's like three iterations of the game. Like it first starts off with Monster Prom, then Monster Camp, then Monster Road Trip. And like, it can be a little raunchy if I'm being honest, but it's also just like, what is happening? Why are they talking about these monster terms like this? Ah. And like each character has their own trope. Like we have the mermaid that's into like genocide apparently. <laughs> like subtle monarchy genocide. <laughs> yeah, dating sim with friends. But then you also have like your himbo werewolf, which is adorable. We have our like hipster vampire. Uh, the DLC came with like this weeaboo uh, Cthulhu tentacle monster. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that out of my mouth right now. And what else? Oh, we also have like a very like sex positive ghost. Um, who else remember saying? We also have our pyromaniac uh, demon, very murderous, you know. Ooh, and one other game that I'm not playing yet, but I want to play because I've seen it being played is Super Liminal, which is a game where, well, Markiplier played it, where you traverse like this whole like dreamscape that gets progressively not worse and worse, but deeper and deeper. And you play with like optical illusions and you can make stuff bigger by pulling it closer or dropping it closer to you, make it smaller. In short, I have lots to, to think about to play. <laughs> Just gotta find the time to. I don't know how I feel about competitive shooters. I have thought about Valorant, but I never thought of myself getting into it. I know that it's popular, but let's just say I'm better with player versus environment rather than, play than PvP. Like, sure, I can play Fortnite, but Overwatch and Valorant, they're just like another thing that I guess I don't particularly find enjoyment in like I'm a horrible shot <laughs> like you'll see me like hold, slowly hold my gun it's like I got this and then I watch all my bullets miss <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably not the best Valorant player if I ever tried it like don't get me wrong I do enjoy my like competitive games but I also have just been like shifting to try out like <laughs> but i've been more of shifting towards more story based games in a sense like i also have hogwarts legacy to play oh gosh there's like there's so many games that i have to get into which is also the reason why i'm probably planning to start a series called like in the middle of it one day which is like in the middle of it which is me throwing myself back into the middle of a game that I haven't finished. Like I have been at a three to still kick butt with. I gotta be like a badass witch, like a witch, urban witch to kick butt against the, the multiverse of homunculi currently. Uh, I wanna get back into Ratchet and Clank cause that was like part of my childhood. And like, there was like a remaster of it where it's like extra content and then get like deeper into like their starting lore and 
I had a sub part where it was like I, I just time. <laughs> what else? Well, thank you. The thing is, just finding time because I already do like four different streams a week, and then I have to like create a thumbnail, a description, and then you know post it onto YouTube afterwards. I don't really edit it because. I find something nice about just having it there because I don't think I'll see myself getting controversial ever hopefully and I guess it's like it's like the rawness of it and also because I don't think I could sit myself down and edit for hours on end like a super long video because I know myself and I have my own like speaking takes in a sense like sometimes i will go into lots of likes or i might have this hesitation that'll be something for if one day if i ever make enough you know i'll have an editor for that <laughs> so they can be driven crazy by my my awkwardness you know a lot easier that way Also, one other fun fact, I guess, I'm horrible at multitasking, like... <laughs> What's that? What did you write? I'm just, I'm reading it. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm kind of confused, like... I know the last part was fighting, I just don't understand the first part. <laughs> like, I thought, um, I thought it was reference to the whole like, Colonel Sanders KFC thing, because every time, because the girl's name is Ashley, but she spelled it with like all these extra letters, and so we just gave her the name Ackley. <laughs> and it's just it's giving me Ackley. Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fighting no matter what and I know I'm gonna have my rough days and there are gonna be days where I'm gonna be hella weak I won't lie last week was that week but I'm trying my best to celebrate like the successes within the challenge well successes that's it that's it oh, oh. <laughs> Not the successes per se, but more of like celebrating the things that I should celebrate, you know? Like, so for today, I say that today was my personal challenge because I couldn't sleep. I, I sometimes have heavy sleeping issues and last night after like hanging out with some of our fellow Loftians, I just laid in bed. Then my thoughts decided to say room to a different like section. And then once I was able to finally like fall asleep, I fell asleep for a good 10 minutes, woke up and just said, oh, it hasn't been that long since I slept. And then from then on, I just couldn't sleep until the time where I had to catch the bus to go to work. And then I had like eight and a half hours of work and it wasn't easy because I had like a training assignment to do. So I sat down there and like was at the TV, not TV screen, but the creator screen doing my training and watching like the videos that I had to do. And I just watched myself like dozing off. Like I was reading the words, fall asleep. And, I, and in my mind, 
I was really hoping no one would catch me. <laughs> no one would catch me. Like, none of my team leads would catch me and just... Be like, you're falling asleep on the job. Shame. Because the other day before, I had already gotten to spoken to about my tardiness and absences. Uh, my absences were mainly due to mental health and like burnout, but also just not taking care of myself physically, which I need to really get better with. And the uh, the tardiness is due to the bus system. It's out of my hands. And I know that they have their like leniences, but I really wasn't expecting that it counted against me because if I was going to be running late, I would call. <laughs> But oh well. I, when it comes to like tea, sometimes it helps, but I also have to avoid caffeine. Caffeine and I don't mix well. It does one of two things. It makes me either one sleepy, the other one makes me jittery. <laughs> and not the good kind. Yeah, burnout does suck. And... It's kind of like, you have to acknowledge, actually, in general, you should acknowledge when you're not feeling well. If you start to see signs, like, validate your own feelings and thoughts about certain things. Because if no one else is, then who is, right? Besides yourself. And so, if you start to see signs, it's like, alright, maybe this is some something to think about maybe laying less on the work or maybe putting more, some more time aside to you know take, do some self-care and i'm not saying self-care as in just like avoid the issue what the books have taught me is that you can't be like the person who says you know you're stressed out you should go on a retreat <laughs> and then on that retreat all you can think about is what is stressing you out because, like, the idea of don't think about it is helpful, but not really. Because, <laughs> like, you're allowed to avoid... Um, avoid for a little bit. But then, at a certain point, you have to, like, adapt and then move on. Like, there's, like, apparently like, a bunch of different A's to be used. If, like, one thing doesn't work, you move on to the next thing. Ooh, yeah. Definitely working out is beneficial i i may hate it but that was one of my goals to like get in better shape and setting aside some time to like be active and outside of work because sunshine or just like a simple walk like walks are very not mind-blowing but mind-opening like it lets you res it lets you just to calmly think and just to breathe and it's good for your joints you don't want them creaky bones going pop like me every now and then <laughs> my bones aren't like Freaky and cracketing, but my joints are. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm finally starting to look like a college student, even though I'm not a college student anymore. Wait, what? What about Kavu? I mean, Kavu is also... Kavu can always visit every now and then. But he's also probably passed out. Maybe. If... If he's being healthy. But, for some reason, I really hope that I'm not influencing fellow Loftians to be... up late. 
Because apparently I'm the bad influence. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have? I have ascended? Ascension. But see, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not part of like King Kabu's plan, you know? How do I say this? I'm not part of his rule. Because I think I chose, I think I chose the option of stealing the crown and melting it into something for like, to share with fellow Lothians. That was what the story was. No, 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 we don't do that. I mean, sure, some, some may be like, I gotta go and this is the last one. Then there's me, like stay for one more. <laughs> and there are times where it's okay, but I try not to push it because everybody has their own lives and their own time zone. And if I like affect it, I don't want it to to spread. No, melt crown, sell for one potato. One potato seed. Cause like, I prefer the potato seed rather than the potato because then I don't have to worry about finding crops to grow. <laughs> And then hopefully when that crop grows and I harvest it, I either get cloud tokens, tokens, or more crops. <laughs> yeah, I guess the potato seeds can be kind of rare. I don't know what's happened recently, but ever since I got my fifth plot and started growing a bunch of tomatoes, I've been getting like more cloud tokens. So I'm like, cloud tokens, yes! But I also think that tomatoes are luckier just because they're so cheap and they're more worthwhile. Because every time I buy a, a watermelon, it doesn't give me a reward. <laughs> or, like, or it'll give me another watermelon, but that's really it. And it's kind of ironic because I have the badge in like Loftia for a watermelon, you know, because of the whole Torg tree event. I only went to the watermelon because it's like, oh, no one's really donating watermelons. I don't want to compete for the tomatoes. <laughs> well, luckily, you know, uh, our one of our favorite moderators is not within, or does not check out the stream of mine, unless you know I'm actually in the VC streaming a game. I do wonder what our next event will be like. Hmm. What was I doing? Oh, yes. Now, I, okay. I finished the journaling part. Now I gotta mark an emotion. Also, I don't think I don't know if you heard about this, but I was looking through like some apps and whatnot, and I f saw that Lofty was like following, or the Lofty Instagram page was following like another account or another game kind of. It's called like a Kinder World, and it's kind of like a small little therapy game where you basically check in, you like say what like how you're feeling. Or you do like a little gratitude thing, or I forgot what the last one is. And 
basically you water your plant like twice a day and you watch it like grow I feel like with Lofty, it's a little... I mean, if we ever have a cotton convention, it would be nice to meet people. But I also think that... Like, La fellow Loftians, majority of us are more introverted. Then again, I don't qualify as an introvert. I think... I'm an ambivert, but I'm on the... Extroverted introvert side, I want to say. But it has changed into, like, the introvert extrovert. Oh yeah, we're kind of big enough as it is, to a degree, and there's gonna only going to be more and more people to chat with, I guess. Just like every time we blow up. <laughs> uh, what was That's how I'm feeling. We'll say optimistic today. Well, yesterday. At this point. <laughs> I think for me, it's like it, it's situational when it comes to my uh, my introvertness and like extrovertness. When I'm with a bunch of extroverts, I'll be the introvert one because like it's it's fun being a wallflower. But then when it's the other way around, with all my introvert friends, I'm the extroverted one. <laughs> What's the next thing on my list? Today it is... Yeah, there's always something nice about... It's way easier to be... I guess be more open with people that you are closer with, you know? And that's how, I'm not gonna say most people are, but like, I feel like this is how like a lot of people are, you know? Like, if you're comfortable with people, you're allowed to just be yourself and you can be in different levels of open or not open. total of 34 pages there we go i was wondering when that nap was gonna kick in well patat i hope you rest well and i will see you around whether or not it's on a stream or in loftia i will tackle this book <laughs> Thank you. I'll do my best. 
Oh, hi, Kavu. Oh, no, I'm reading. Currently, uh, tackling that material. The, the book about, you know, to stop overthinking. Currently, we're in the chapter talking about that, you know, sometimes we stress out and overthink because of poor time management. And that giving advice to somebody who is freaking out about time to calm down and take some time to calm down and meditate is actually making it worse because you have less time trying to calm down after trying to calm down. And I guess this might be important for me because I've been having a little bit of poor time management and that has been slowly stressing me out. <laughs> and I'm trying to find that good balance. Although, I wouldn't mind drawing in my book. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm, it's kind of funny, but like what these books have taught me or have like told me about certain scenarios. I'm like, that's right. Why have I noticed that? Like, okay, you, you're stressed out. You should totally avoid the problem. <laughs> you know, like, uh, what's the what's the saying? You should just not think about it. And then you know how like the not thinking about the thing is what causes the thing to Explode. <laughs> I 
it's good if you if you can do it i guess like i think in the other other book of the subtle art of not giving f it was mentioning like the four different a's the first one's like avoid if you can't avoid it you have to adapt and if you can't adapt you would do the next step and if you can't do the last part then it's just like increasing activeness like if you can't avoid it avoid the situation but if you cannot then you have to like slowly become more and more interactive with it until at a certain point you just grasp it with your hand and then just move it away <laughs> or deal with it catch these hands or somewhat But well, also, Kaku, are you having trouble sleeping? Because usually you're, like, asleep by now. I say usually, but that that's changed recently. And it's not because of me. Do not- Please do not blame it on me and my poor sleeping influences. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I can't understand that. <laughs> to a degree. Because I won't lie, like, this past week... I've been also thinking about... My past one as well. And it's hard not to think about it. And I'm just... I'm just trying to, like, ebb and flow with it. Just watch it, like, dissipate for a little bit. Because I'm... Like gonna have my ups and downs. I can't just say therapy is gonna solve all my problems instantaneously, or you know that I can fix everything at all at once. For those of you who can, for you, like that is awesome. But for me, it's gonna take me some spicy time, and I don't think I'm gonna be in a rush for it because. I'll use whatever time I got. How do I say this? I feel like my life is an adventure, like a permanent adventure. And it's not like how I was trained to think that way, but it's more of, I'll get my good times and I'll get my bad times. I'm on like the harder times currently, but that's kind of like what my life has been. It's been an adventure with lots of struggles. And lots of time to, not lots of time, but lots of instances of overcoming it. But now it's, it's time for my character arc of reflection. Cause like this is my resting period. I've done too much adventure. <laughs> gotta, gotta booster my stats. Gotta get that training montage. <laughs> not, not with like Rocky or anything or some random, like twenty second time. I'm sorry, internal reaction to compliment was huh? <laughs> it's not, it's, Taking compliments is still not easy for me. 
and also thank you. And I mean, at times, even though you can be a little, not sharp, what's the word? I want to be, I want to say straight chaotic. I do believe you are, and you're also like a really cool person. And that like, I hope these times don't also last long for you as well. If I'm trying to word it correctly, this is me functioning on even more little sleep. I, I think I did mention in a Discord like way earlier today, I got 10 minutes of sleep. Then throughout work, I got 10 more plus 10 more during lunch. And did I sleep on my last break? And then the 15 minute before everything, once I got home, it was a trial. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. I randomly just because I was looking at things on for sale. I had randomly bought um, what was it? I didn't randomly buy. I bought a Sprite limited edition, not limited edition flavor, but it's called apparently Sprite Legacy, which is like lemonade, which is strawberry lemonade and Sprite. And I I know what it tastes like, but I wonder how it's a little bit different. And I kind of can't wait to try it at some point. Huh. Now, how's it pronounced in French? Ah. Exactly how I like, said it in my head. Only because I sort of took French in college. When I say sort of, because I did survival stuff. I will not say that I can speak it though, nor can I always understand it. Now say squirrel. Squirrel is the, tr the tricky one. Because I remember my French teacher would say that pronouncing squirrel is one of the harder words. the rate that I'm going. I don't know if I can actually finish this chapter tonight. <laughs> I got like how many pages? Uh, I've read two so that's 32 left. <laughs> oh yeah definitely after today I'm going to be able to sleep because my body has taught me one thing today it's that We'll be sleeping tonight. <laughs> I worked hard. Sort of. I functioned the best I could with my minimal amounts of sleep. <laughs> That's true. But... I guess I'm like trying to get one chapter done in a stream. 
at least one if it's like not the longest in the world. Zesty sneaking in. <gasps> yes, sleep is important. Also, Zesty is important too. I think I was there while it was happening. And then I said I'd steal your crown. <laughs> but also, Patat was telling me how, uh, was it? Somewhere in the chat, I was something. I don't know what the something was, but I was something. <laughs> Um. Oh. That apparently you ascended me? Or at least they thought that you ascended me? And. Yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. Lumi is just part of the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to describe it. Wait, but Cobb, although you're king, you're not like a moderator, so... Technically... They might have more power than you, and they can dethrone you anytime they want to. Who are the people? Because, you know, I feel like with all the new influx of members, we also have a... I guess, technically, Kabul, you could be rewriting the history of Lofty. Well, you could be rewriting the Lofty in history just by, like, spreading so much misinformation. <laughs> You know, it's funny, it was talking about when is when do we prioritize rest and relaxation? Because most people tend to prioritize stress ahead of rest and relaxation in a sense. Because, you know, we prioritize getting the task done. And then it's talking about like how maybe we should probably do some time management and just like throw into a like, like, make a time slot for just like this is the dedicated time for rest and relaxation and for me for that idea i have always had an issue with because it, it makes me feel like when it comes to like hanging out with friends or just like time for myself it feels like a time slot like sure it's making time but it's it's something that's kind of like you need to you you're forced to do it 
and I kind of like to have it open. And maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Sees the word herbal tea, thinks about zesty. <laughs> and tea. <laughs> hey, I was talking about making a habit of like taking 10 minute breaks every hour for a nice cup of herbal tea. I don't like thinking. How often does zesty drink tea? <laughs> Casually eight cups, you know. We got half a gallon of tea. Dusty, which tea is like your go-to tea? And then, what is one tea you'll never touch again? tried turmeric tea. I think I might have. I think it was turmeric and something else. It can be a little strong, but it's okay. This might sound silly, but there was a period in my life that I think froze my Asianness to shame. There was a time where I think a good year where I just hated rice. Like I didn't like hate hate it or anything. It was more of I just couldn't eat it. Like I'd have it, then I just like I want any other grain but rice right now. <laughs> And I mean, to this day, I don't really make rice that often either.
I also don't make rice with a rice cooker. I actually do it the old fashioned way and I'm not perfect at it. Sometimes it's too soggy, sometimes a little dry. Sometimes I've gotten it perfect. Sometimes I'll make like rice pancakes. Cause like we call it rice pancakes because some of the rice on the bottom is overcooked and it's just crunchy. Yeah, the old fashioned way is to boil it in a pot was what I mean. Am I perfect? No. Was I taught? Not really. But I, I, I feel like I've inherited most of my cooking skills from Shokugeki no Soma and um, cooking shows from PBS. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Am I the most comfortable with a knife? No, I'm like a really slow cutter. <laughs> I did make, well, I made omu rice once. It was okay. All right, Kavu. Go pass out. Slip slips. Just avoid a cow's bonk stick idea, cause cow's hoping to get a a character in with a bonk stick. Lumi, welcome here. You know, we've had four different people. We just need one more. And then we can hit that VIP stat. Just pull someone random from Loftia right now. Let's do it. What? We were talking about something? I don't know what you're talking about. Taking notes. Oh, wait, wait, uh, what about that? Ah, ah. So basically, prioritize. Fine. Structure around it. Structure every now and then. Time management. It's like, what do you want to prioritize in your life? Like, make a list of a couple of things. They say three, right? And then analyze how do you spend your time in the week? And then, based on like what you want. <laughs> uh, based on what you want, you kind of like structure your schedule to balance out like your priorities and then check in every now and then to see how your priorities change and how you've like spent your time. Okay, that's good to know. Cool. 
Oh, wait, no one can really see, but this is one of, like, my, my cuter nerdy shirts. It's like, it's a dragon. A dragon with a little doggo, Wolfo. I enjoy it. Yeah. Because goals without meaning. It's like, what's the reason behind doing your goals? Oh yeah, it is a T-Turtle shirt. I've bought a couple of them. I have like some D&D &D ones, some um, more D&D &D ones, some cute ones. Okay, space penguins, because space penguins. One day hopes to get sponsored by T-Turtle, like a free T-Turtle shirts. There's so many T-Turtle shirts that I'm like, I want to buy that one. But I also want that one. Ooh, that one. But uh, that also requires me to empty out my wardrobe. I actually have a few plushies of them here. We have like the reversal one. Uh, we have an octopus where it's like grumpy and the other side is a mustache one. We have two turtle ones. I don't have the kitten corn. I said nothing bad. <laughs> Did you guys know that you can also get the bigger plushies as well? So they have the small reversible ones, but you can also get even bigger ones. Hi. And they come out with like new ones every now and then. Uh, no, I have enough plushies at this point. I still need to s sell some of the ones in my closet. <laughs> And that's another story for another day of why I have too many plushies in my closet. In short, uh, claw machine addiction. <laughs> and I want to say I am pretty good at them if I do say so myself. Even though it's a lot of RNG. one time uh, when I was younger and I went to Dave and Buster's uh, I decided oh yeah let's play with this jewelry one and I won like twice in a row I got like this one golden watch it wasn't like probably wasn't even real it wasn't real gold but it was like a watch and I got like a necklace and I just kept on winning stuff so and then I just stopped it is fun and that kind of makes you want to go to like a, not a circus, a fair, just to go on like some rides and play some games for overpriced marketing.
I do not like up being up too high. Like, I don't know. I like feeling, I don't mind spinning around on lower ground. I don't mind like the UFO ride where like you get like zero gravity. It's kind of wild. <laughs> I don't do spooky. I just, I just don't. Spooky and I, Spooky and I, well, we end up basically catching hands. <laughs> but I mean like the bigger rides where like they spin you upside down like it's super high. I'm, like, mm, I'm good. Like, give me any water ride, I will do that just fine. I do not mind getting soaked. <laughs> Although, it's funny because the person that wants to get soaked, does not get soaked. And the person that does not want to get wet at all, is the one who will get wet. I remember, let's see, back in middle school when our choir went to like Six Flags Magic Mountain. Me being the person who could round up people, rounded up like some, a bunch of like people I knew and some friends, and we went on a water ride right before the park closed. So it was dark. <laughs> and then I was just watching people get wet, and like the smallest person in our group got hit with like a giant wave. And went sploosh. And <laughs> she was freaking out. <laughs> but it was also like a significant day because it was a day where I went on my first looped roller coaster. It's not as scary as it seems. I actually, let's see, what else did I do that day? Stuck in food because I didn't really have money then and still don't have it now. <laughs> and so. They didn't really buy food and just made do with whatever I brought in, which wasn't enough, but it's okay. <gasps> Excuse me. AFK, who, who, me, you, Lumi. <laughs> uh. I'm just taking notes. And I think all I'm gonna write on this note is this part important. Because <laughs> I could summarize it, but I'll just say this important. And then I can read it whenever. <laughs>
my neck and back. We'll be coming out with the with the with the, the fear factor. <laughs> fear but what do we do instead then instead of fear Jeez, I was scared. Thank you, Shishi Bottle, for following. <laughs> How are you doing today? I say it each and every time, I will never get used to the alert bells, <laughs> especially if I'm hyper focused. But yes, welcome to the stream where it's it's just calmness. For the most part, until I scream internally. No, you're fine. It's not your intention. It's just me being a jumpy, scatterbrain sometimes. Welcome to a little self care stream where we vibe, we talk, we exist. And if you ever want to ask anything or you want advice, you can always ask me.
I'm currently just reading a book and taking notes. So, not much happening with me. May I ask what's going on with you today? Or tonight, whatever time it is for your existence. <laughs> Lumi, what what is that icon? It looks like. Oh wait, is that just you working? Also, why does something smell like cinnamony? Hmm. Well, congrats, Lumi, for finishing working. No more to, no more work to think about. Makes sense. Thank you, Lumi. <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing people. <laughs> it's like when you have a friend of a friend who can call favors, I guess. <laughs> just, just casually phone a friend. appreciate it, Lumi because you know one step closer hopefully one day getting to the affiliate status watching streams never heard of her <laughs> I'll make them I just can't seem to watch them like I'll watch the video later <laughs> it's kind of weird of studying but it's mainly me just reading a book about things that I can do for my personal self-care specifically a book about caring less about too much and the other one about overthinking because that's something that I tend to do a lot of and I'm trying to create better habits to one calm down when there's too much at once and also um, just be able to process things healthily rather than getting stressed out and freezing up that too much at once is happening and that it's all going wrong. Switching between each book or each like Tuesday that we have. 
and sometimes I'll put on a face mask. But today, my skin just feels nice, and I don't think I need to add any more moisture to it <laughs> it's for it to be healthy. It's kind of like my time slot to take care of myself. I think Zesty went AFK. You can probably message. Maybe Zesty's listening in, just like slowly waiting until he's summoned again. <laughs> Which cup of tea do you think it's the tea time this time? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about like which tea he's making. I'm talking about like which cup he's making. Because earlier he said he makes like eight cups a day. So do you think this is number seven? Number eight? <laughs> See, speaking is SD. <laughs>
I don't think I can have tea without adding either some sugar, honey, or condensed milk. Specifically, I like adding condensed milk the most. I just like my things sweet. I mean, there's a thing called caffeine overdose. It's not fun. I've had it one time. Slash food poisoning, maybe? And that was an adventure. But that's another story for another day. Because, again, I have too, too many stories to share. That randomly get remind- uh, Randomly just like pop up again after a certain reminder. You know, you have met the needs to unlock this secret quest. And now here's the backstory of that quest. You know, I don't drink coffee at all. I don't think it's just for me, but also just the necessary caffeine level. Also, not enticing me. I'd rather just have sugar. <laughs> just give me a hot cocoa. Or a smoothie. Or juice. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Azai, for following. <laughs> no, nothing much besides my, my heart rate. <laughs> Each and every time. Lumi just inviting everybody that she she knows. <laughs> we'll get there. It's gonna take some time because it's gonna count the other streams. It's kind of weird because it's like people, the average people throughout the whole thing. So even though there might be enough at this point, it's it's a weird number. As long as it's like it's an average of three, that's how we get affiliate. But it also includes, I guess, a certain time frame of how many. I forgot exactly where and what it was. Is it analytics I need to search? Achievements? It's probably achievements. Yeah. Oh yeah, so like, between like the 38.68 hours that I've streamed, my average viewer count is like 1.14, which I'll get there, slowly but surely indeed. I feel like, I'm not sure, honestly. I mean, I did try out YouTube back in the day, it was a lot, I think it was a bit easier. I didn't pursue it hard enough back then just mainly because i just didn't but i f hmm because youtube has an algorithm twitch doesn't really and so it's hard to just get discovered so you have to use multiple 
like platforms nowadays. I think that's why there's like there's a large push for me to try to use TikTok, but I've never touched it in my life, surprisingly. Actually, no, I've touched it once, but then that's it. See, I feel like I could be a successful TikToker. But then I also have to think about how cringy I would be. Like, I don't think I could ever watch my videos again. <laughs> Just because I know how I am. I remember my first ever YouTube video. Never want to think about that ever again. <laughs> if that ever resurfaces and it attacks me and haunts me, oh, I'm doomed. Maybe, but that first requires working enough to have enough hours to get enough money to buy the things that I can make the music. Oh, and I also gotta think about my other things. So I've been paying for a subscription for a, what's it, what you would call it? I need to look it up. Do 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 do. Not, uh, is it a distributor? Yeah. I have, a dis I have a distributor for like my music. Um, yes and no. I mean, I haven't actually made songs with me singing really. It's more of like small commentary with lo fi for like a one liner. A music major that graduated without playing an instrument. It's interesting. Oh no, no, I I don't function well on the spot. Cause sometimes I'll crack into an accident instead. <laughs> it's more of like you'll have to hear me doing it passing by. Oh no, please. I think I did like a riff thing. Don't nope. I was so nervous and so out. Please, no. I. You know what? I might private that one day. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of like it's a sign of growth. Whenever you look back on your past self and you cringe a little, that means you've grown as a person. <laughs> Whether you're good or bad. But I do believe that streaming has gotten me to be a lot less camera shy. And I guess it's kind of like public speaking, but less public because you don't see the people who you're talking to, but you still have people talking to you. So if I randomly go quiet, it's just because I'm trying to like recontinue the section that I'm reading. Yeah, that is true. I mean, as long as you're able to find your niche within like the content creation market, you'll be successful in whatever you do. It's like you just keep doing what you're doing, and if you strike gold, you can try capitalizing on it. Or you can just do it. <laughs> and no, we are not quoting Shia LaBeouf and I'm like, not- Die! Lumi, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I was so surprised. I was like, Lumi's fault. So, so what, what's happening? <laughs> like, How dare Lumi not, not, not be following me already? And then... I was like, oh, it's it's YouTube. That's another story. That's a whole other species of things. You'll see me in my my past, my 
nervous speaking era um my choreography era which i kind of want to get back into it if i ever find time oh it's because i have it um connected both of them so i could live stream using the stream labs for youtube or i can use it for twitch if i depend if i want to switch it over to a different one I'm only chill because of lo-fi is playing. If I were playing um, Redfall, which is tomorrow, you'll probably see me in my jitter state. Because <laughs> I don't play fit games that are a little spooky, a little more action-packed, calmly. League, I can definitely do calmly, even though that's like a salt mine. But when it comes to like spookier games, you're going to see me... Uh, not the best. <laughs> On a random note, has anybody seen um the new uh, Pokemon cards? Like, uh, for Charmander, it's it's like a full little art and it's so cute because it's like it's a charmander squooshing its face into like a window and being like a menace to this this pidgey that's just sitting on a windowsill <laughs> ah which is what method this is the uh alan's input process all right I think when it comes to like the starter birds for each like for the generations I have to say my two favorites would be Starly and uh not Pidgeot uh P-Dove I love P-Dove <laughs> I know many people don't like P-Dove but I actually like pigeons <laughs> to a degree No, I feel like P Dub gets a lot of hate. <laughs> that is true. Although I did like a pheasant. I like the male and pheasant. And the female sometimes. Mainly the male. It feels like the male get formed for birds get like the better looking one, I guess. But is Artaria a bird? Because it's actually like a, f a flying dragon. <laughs> Just, just the real questions, you know? <laughs> Which reminds me, if I get back into playing Scarlet and Violet at a certain point, because I know the, the DLC is somewhere, I still need to catch a uh, Swablu. I want it for a, sh a shiny Swablu. Like, I've been hunting for it, and I haven't been able to get it. I've been able to get like other shiny forms, which I'm really happy about. Speaking of, like, Drifloon. Gold Burb. But I also like Drifloon because it's like it's it's also gold, but the X mark is blue, and I like my blue my blue forms. I think that's also why I named the um, Psyduck Blue Dabadi because it's literally Psyduck but blue. What about Sylveon? Sylveon's pretty cool because like they invert the pink and blue. Although I will say Umbreon's probably like the best uh, shiny Eevee form. Maybe except for maybe regular Eevee because I do like the opacity.
a little bit. Do you have a least favorite Pokemon? Is Pidov your least favorite? Okay. I don't think I have like one that pops up into my mind instantaneously. Like, sure, there are, like, the Pokemon that keep on spawning every so often a little too much that harass you. But I don't think I have, like, a least favorite one. Hmm. Have you seen the shiny forms though? The shiny forms are actually pretty decent and I actually like that. Well, it was nice talking to you. Hope to see you again sometime soon. And, well, enjoy making dinner. And even though I'm really curious to ask, like, what are you cooking? If you need to go, go, go make your food. <laughs> Before I, I hold you hostage to, to tell me, what are you making? What foods? What's it looking like? What ingredients? And you couldn't tell, I just enjoy food. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I've ever had that, and it sounds so good. Maybe this is time to, like, after this is done, I am going to shove some fruit, eat some watermelon. That's what I should do. Bye.
I may not have finished this chapter, but I feel like that is a good stopping point because it's like another subheader between the chaptering. Like the book itself doesn't it has like big chapters, but it has like subheaders that are like the A, B, C, and D of like math questions. And I feel like I got good enough, far enough. It's always interesting when books like have their own like division section or doesn't have like a division. But yeah, I think that's a healthy amount for today. I'm glad to have relaxed and to have spoken to people. It is so much more fun to converse with others. Books are fascinating when they stimulate your brain when i when i say that i mean just just books that you like <laughs> if it's a book that i don't enjoy i just slowly feel myself getting drained like reading should be enjoyment but some books are just not for me and that, that that's it <laughs> anywho i would like to say Thank you to Azai Genie Bottle for, you know, following today, and also thank you to Boots Patat for like also following previously, and just like talk. And actually, you know what? Thank you everybody for talking today. I really appreciate it. It makes me feel refreshed and alive, <laughs> and less awkward on cam, I guess. And yeah, thank you. And I guess I'll sign off for today. But also, if you see this on YouTube later, for those who see it on YouTube, feel free to come by to the Twitch one day. And, you know, if you see it on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. I don't mind talking. Because I'm a chatty boy. Anyways, good night.